guys, welcome to my vegan kitchen. So it's fall and you know what that means? Pumpkin squashes and butternut squash. So guess what? That's what we're gonna be making. Butternut squash soup, one of my favorites. It's super easy, it's great for meal prep. So let's do it guys, let me show you how. Let's go. Have the oven on and I set it to preheat to 400. So let's get that started because we're gonna go right over here to our feature presentation, the butternut squash. This is such an easy recipe. I think the hardest part is just getting cutting this butternut squash. So I washed it to make sure the outside is clean because we're gonna leave the skin on when we bake it in the oven. So this is how I do it. Let, let me show you, let me show you. Cause this gets a little, little rough and a little tricky. Let me get a spoon in the meantime so I don't have to walk away. But this is how I do my butternut squash. I cut the top. Okay, come in so you guys can see. And then I cut the bottom off. Look how pretty that is. It's so orange, it's a good one. And then I take my knife and I go right down the middle. First I get situated and I just slice it right down the middle. That's it, there it is. So you see the seeds inside, we're gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna take a spoon and we're just gonna scoop out the seeds. Oops, you didn't see that. <laughs> scoop out the seeds, look at that. Nice and easy. And then I'm gonna scoop out the seeds on this one. Ooh, I need a lot of muscle for that. There's still some more seeds. Let me scoop that out. Now, sometimes I do save the seeds and I'll roast them and use them as like um, garnish at the end, but we're not gonna do that today. Just get the rest of that out. You just wanna get out all the soft areas that's inside of the butternut squash. All right. Then, for the part, I'm gonna put this in, switch over here real quick, one of these bacon dishes. So for the part that's gonna go downward, which is here, depending on how much is left out, being that this is gonna have a hole, I don't have to make like a ventilation area but because this is the hole is gonna be right here, I'm just gonna take my knife and just make two little slits right in the top so when it starts to steam, it has ventilation, all right? So let me get my, my bacon dish. Here's my butternut squash. I'm gonna grab some oil and salt. So, here we go. Wipe my hand off. I'm gonna salt my butternut squash just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. Yeah, not too much, just a little bit. Kind of rub it around. And then I'm gonna put it downside into my bacon dish. Okay, got a towel. Toss that to the side. We're gonna roast a whole garlic right in the dish. So when you wanna roast the garlic, all you wanna do is cut off the top. So I'm just gonna cut the top of the garlic off. And be careful when you're doing this, guys. We're gonna toss that and we're just gonna leave this. We don't have to take off all of this white stuff. Just leave it just like that. We're gonna place that in there in the bowl. I'm gonna use red pepper and yellow pepper. Let me just get the seeds out. So this is a, a big red pepper. You can use one red pepper and one yellow, but this was a really large one and I had it just kind of hanging around the refrigerator. So why not just use it? Just slice that. We're gonna put it right in there. All this is just gonna get baked up. Baked up beautiful. Let's get this one, let's get the seeds all out. All right, get the seeds out of that one. And just place it right in there. Let's find a little home for it. Let's put it on top of that one. And then we're just gonna take a whole onion, one whole yellow onion, we'll cut off the butt, and peel it. Uh, 
I'm gonna cut it in half. Just so when it comes out, it's just, it'll fit in here a little bit easier. And I'll just toss it right in there just like that. It's my cover so I could grind this salt. Just a drop of salt. We're not gonna put too much salt because we really don't wanna salt it, but the salt help, does help to pull out some of the flavor. So we're just putting a little salt. And then especially in your garlic, we're gonna add some oil and then some oil on the veggies, some oil on the onion, because when it goes in, it's gonna burn if we don't do that. And that is pretty much it. That's what your, your dish should look like. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 for 45 minutes. And that's it. When I come back, we're gonna finish the rest of it and I'll just show you how easy this comes together and it's absolutely delicious. So let me go put that in the oven and I'm gonna do a little bit of prep, but I'll come right back guys. 45 minutes in the oven and I'll be back. All right. We're back. It's been an hour. So 45 minutes in the oven, it took to roast the butternut squash and the vegetables. And then I gave it about 15 minutes just for it to sit and cool a little bit, because you know me, I would burn in my hands because I'm always trying to rush through and do this. But here we go. This is so easy. It's almost, it's almost a sin to do this uh, video, but for those of you who don't know how to do it, that's why we do the video, right? All we're gonna do now is pop everything inside of the blender. Look how pretty and charred that is. Just put it in the blender. That's it. Just pop everything in the blender. All oh, those onions look so juicy. The garlic, we're just gonna squeeze all of the pulp, all of the insides right into the blender. How easy is that? That is so easy and that is delicious roasted garlic. When I tell you all the flavor is gonna be in your soup, mm, mm, mm. That's it, I squeezed it all out. Make you that egg. Let me just rinse my hands really quickly, guys. Let me rinse my hands really quickly. All right. Now, we're gonna scoop the butternut squash. And see, I like to do it this way. I know some people cut it up and then do it, you know, um, roast it and then put it in. I like it this way. Like, you know, you could do what you wanna do. You could do it the other way, like peel it and then cut it. But the skin on the butternut squash is so hard that I hate to peel it. I just like scooping it out just like this. But look how easy. All I'm doing is just filling up the blender cup. I'm gonna just continue to scoop it out and fill it up. And if a little skin get in there, it's all right. It's gonna be all blended up. That's just fiber. That's some good, good fiber and vitamin C right in that skin. Ooh, this bottom half is a little warm. Ooh, I'm burning myself, I'm burning myself, burning myself. Continue to scoop it out. Flip this one over. Oh, this one feels a little hotter. And just continue to scoop it out. Get all that goodness out. This recipe was just so easy. I was like, you never even have to go near the stove. That's what's funny. I mean like the top of the stove. Obviously you went in the oven, but you don't have to like put it on the stove, cook anything. This is cooked. This is nice and warm. And for some of you, you might have those fancy blenders that heats up the soup when you're doing it. That's nice too, but this is already cooked. So let me just continue to get this butternut squash in here, and then I'll show you what to do next. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got everything that was in the, um, the bacon dish inside of the blender. Now we're going to add coconut milk. That is our cream. Because remember, I'm vegan. So we can't use like heavy cream. We're gonna use half a can of this coconut cream. Come on, work with me here, work with me. I'm filming, you gotta work with me. All right, here we go. And that's it, half a can. Yep, if we need more, we'll use more, but right now, I think we just need half a can. We're going to put a little cumin in there. That's gonna help to warm it up, to give it like a nice 
base. And that's approximately like a um, half a teaspoon. We're gonna put a little bit of salt. And for those of you, you probably wanna blend it first, taste it, and then add salt. But because I make this so much, I pretty much know how much salt to put in. And I put my salt in right now. I'm also, what am I thinking? What am I, I wanna put a little ginger in here. So let me grab my spices and find my ginger, a little bit of ground ginger. So I'm gonna put a little ground ginger. Guys, if you don't like ginger, you don't have to put it in here. But I'm gonna put a little bit of ground ginger and a little bit of cinnamon. And just a little bit. We don't wanna really taste the cinnamon, but it does add a nice base. All right, let's pop the top on. Pop the top on, I'm dripping like hot sauce. All right, let's close this up. I'm gonna put this here. Give me a second, let me put this away. I like to put everything away. And I'm also gonna turn the skillet on because I wanna have some bread with it. So let's turn the skillet on so that can get ready by the time I'm ready. Okay, we pop the top on, here we go. On medium. So we blended that for one minute. So let me take a look. Come in, let's see what it looks like. Come in there, look in there, get in there, get in there, you see it? That's what it looks like. I'm gonna taste it so I can taste the texture and the flavor. So let me taste it. Really good, really good. Do I wanna add a little more salt? Let me put a drop more salt. It's really good though, really, really, really good. A little more salt. I think that's it, that is pretty much it. I'm gonna put the top on and probably just blend for about maybe 30 more seconds because I want it to be really smooth. But here we go, one more time. All right, so the 30 seconds is up. I'm gonna leave that there because I do wanna have a little bit of bread with it. So I just got, you can get whatever your favorite dinner roll, French bread, I got some ciabatta bread. I'm gonna use a little bit of butter, and I do love this vegan butter right here because it is perfect. It tastes just like regular old butter. It's not like oily, it's very creamy. So I'm gonna put a little bit in the pot. I'm gonna take one of these breads. I'm just gonna basically just open it. Well, let's try to get it open. And just put it right in there and let it warm through. Okay, so while that warms through, let me put the butter away. I'm gonna show you what this soup looks like. Pop that off, let's walk over here, remove the top. I'm gonna save this goodness. Look at that, mm -hmm. Yep, scoop that all in there. It's so smooth and it's so creamy. Take the center part out. I don't want to waste any of this. I'm going to get all of it. Yes. So creamy. And now here's your soup. Look how creamy it is. And it's still warm. So I'm going to pour it right into the bowl. Look how creamy it is. And it's warm. Now if you wanted to heat it up some more, you could heat it up. But this soup is absolutely perfect. I wanna lay this down somewhere. Ah, I'll lay it down right here. It's absolutely perfect because you can make it ahead of time. You can make it a day ahead of time. You could make it for like meal prep, like to take it to work for um, for lunch. This, this soup is so perfect. It's loaded with vitamin C. So if you're feeling sick or down, it really helps to kind of boost your immune system. The weather is getting cooler, so this is perfect for now. I absolutely love this soup because it's just so easy. Like you saw, all I did was cut up the vegetables, put it in the oven, roast it, and then put it in the blender. In the 45 minutes that it's cooking, you could do something else. Sounds like my bread is ready. It is. Yep, my bread is nice and toasty. So let me grab that out of the pot. We're gonna put it right here on the side. I don't want all of that bread, so let's just cut that down a little bit. Let me just cut it into a little smaller, smaller sizes. 
perfect. And we're gonna taste it. Let's put this on the side. Put this over here. We're gonna taste it now, guys. I'm gonna taste it like this first and then I'm gonna taste it with the bread. Look how creamy this is. This is just so full of flavor. There was nothing, you place all the ingredients in there so you know what's in there. There's no preservative, there's nothing like that. This is just butternut squash and vegetables, roasted vegetables. Let's try it. Mmm, it's so creamy and warm. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna take a little piece of nice warm bread and just dip it in here. This is good. This is comfort food. This is so good. This is one of those recipes that you could use for holidays. Kids really like this soup also because they get to dip it. This is really good. Guys, you really got to try this recipe. I'm not going to... Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Let me make sure the stove is off. We did another recipe. And this one is super easy. So for those of you who are like, oh my God, there's too much work, there's too much ingredient, there's no excuse on this one. Easy, 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 nutritious, it's filling. Toast a little bit of bread with it. Very filling for dinner, very filling for lunch. You're gonna love this soup. Thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen. And join me again next time for another really easy, really simple, don't forget to subscribe though. If you like this platform, please subscribe. I have plenty more recipes popping out of my head that I wanna share with you guys. Bye guys, I'm gonna finish this soup.